So we are looking at vibration in, in pipes now. We are looking at vibration in pipes now. Vibration in pipes. I promise you I will not clean this diagram. This diagram is very, 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 very important. The diagram is very, 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 very important. I won't clean it till the end of this video. So let's start. Look at vibration in pipes. Vibration in pipes. There are two main types of pipes. We have the pipe that is open at both ends. And the trumpet is an example of such a pipe. The flute, example of such a pipe. So for such a pipe, we call them air column. Vibration in air column. So there are two types of pipe, the closed pipe and the open pipe. So right, right now we're looking at what? Closed and open pipe. Open pipes. For open pipes, look at this diagram. I was telling that this diagram is very, 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 very important. And also, we also do it from the fundamental mode of vibration. They will start with the fundamental mode of vibration in open pipe. The vibration in one single loop, in one segment. For the spring instrument, one loop or one segment is from here to here. From here to here. You see, just like Mr. Bean will do. From, from here to here, very good. It's what? One loop in spring instruments. How about pipes? Watch. From this A to this A is the, is the vibration in one single loop, in one segment for open pipes. If I would bring this diagram out, something like this, something like this. If I would bring this out, this, like, this looks like an X, this is what you will have. I may put it this way. Yes, this is it. So I have brought this out. And here is your node. This is the node here. And here is your A. And here is your A. I can equally turn this this way. This will be facing this way. Still the same thing. Do you understand? So this is pulled out. And this is what you have here. So if we are saying that half of this is lambda over 4, it means that if I draw something like this as my pi, and this as my pi, the vibration in one single loop in this pipe is what you are seeing here. And I'm saying that here is the antinode, and here is the node. The center here is the node, and here is what also the antinode. So what I'm saying is that from here to here, from here to here is lambda over four. So you have from this point, from this point to this point is lambda all over four. From this point to this point is still what lambda all over four. So if you if you join this, you, you, you are going to end up with lambda all over 4 plus lambda all over 4. If you work it out, what you have? You have 4, uh, 4 into what? This into here you have, you have lambda plus what? Lambda, what do you have? You have 2 lambda all over 4. So 2 here, 1, 2 here, 2. What do you have? You have lambda all over 4, I mean all over 2. Do you understand? So we can consider from here to here 
as the length of the of the open pipe and then we can consider from from this point we can consider from this point from this point to this point as what lambda all over 2 we call this the the fundamental mode of vibration in open pipes it simply means that here 2L is equal to lambda all over 2 you can call this your equation star star I was telling you in the other video that everything about uh, spring or strings instrument is the same about open pipes the song I sang for the spring instrument is the same song you will sing for what? open pipes so this is the fundamental mode of vibration the vibration obtained in one single loop or one segment so let's also find the fundamental frequency for the open pipes recall that V is equal to lambda F and we want to make our, our F to the F naught so this implies that V is equal to what? lambda what? F naught call this equation star star now from this equation star make lambda the subject formula so we have we have L is equal to lambda all over 2 if you cross multiply you have lambda is equal to 2L so lambda is equal to 2L we call it equation star 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 now we are going to substitute equation star 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 into equation star star so this implies that your V is equal to what? Uh, 2L F naught so we are going to make 2 f f naught the subject of the formula if you do that this is what you are going to have we have our f naught is equal to uh, v uh, all over what 2 l you can call this your equation number two so you can see that everything i we did for the the spring is the same thing with the open pipe do you understand so in summary for this this is what we have for this guy this is what we have we have our f fundamental frequency as what v all over 2l for this guy this is what we have fundamental frequency is given as what? Well, this. You can always screenshot this so you can, you can always remember. Now, let us generate the, the harmonics and the overtones for open pipes. We have what? Harmonics and overtones. For what? Open what? Open pipes. If this is the fundamental frequency, fundamental frequency of an open pipe is the frequency that is gotten from one loop or one segment of vibration in that open pipe. And this is it. So fundamental frequency is also called the first harmonic. Do you get it? So, our uh, first harmonic is equal to V all over 2L. And this first harmonic is equal to what? 0 what? 0 over 2. 0 over 2. How about second harmonic? Second harmonic will have 2 f naught. Second harmonic is equal to what? Meaning 2 times this. 2 times this is what we call second harmonic second harmonic 2 times v all over 2l if you work it out this will cancel this this will cancel this and you are left with what v all over l and this v all over l also means what first over 2 
So, second harmonic, first over two. First harmonic, zero over two. Second harmonic, first over two. Third harmonic means what? Three times V all over two L. If you work it out, you're going to have three V all over two L. And this is the same thing as what? Second over two. So we have third harmonic, second over two. Fourth harmonic, third harmonic, second over two. Fourth harmonic, third over two. Down to where you can stop. Is that understood? Quickly, we'll look at vibration in closed pipes. Vibration in closed pipes. Closed closed pipe, meaning pipes that are closed at one end and open at the other end. If you will come back to this, our reference diagram in understanding this topic. You can consider from here, from here to this side, as what? From this point to this side, as what? As your closed pipe. So if I, if I pull this out, from this end to this A, if I pull N and A out of this, <coughs> Can you see that? Just like Mr. Bean will always do, N to A, I put it here. So this is your N, and this is your A. Right? So you have something like this. You have something like this. And if you can do it very well, it looks like a V. Very good. So if you can draw something like this, good. Can you see this very well? So N and A is pulled out. This is it. It is not a must that you will draw this diagram this way. You can turn it up. The other the other way around. Now, for open pipes, this is the vibration that is produced in one segment, in one loop. This is one loop for open pipes, I mean for closed pipe. This is one loop for closed pipe. And we are saying that from here to here is half a loop. For closed pipe, the fundamental mode of vibration is half a loop. According to the standard of this diagram from standing wave, as you can see here. So from here to A is ladder over 4. It means that from here to this point is the length of this closed pipe. From here to this is the length of this closed pipe. And this length is equivalent to what? It's equivalent to what? Lambda all over 4. Can you see that? Very good. We are good. So we want to generate the equation for the fundamental mode of vibration, the fundamental frequency for the closed pipe. Follow me closely. Let's go. So from here, it implies that your L is equal to lambda all over 4. You can call this your equation star. Make lambda the solid formula, so we have lambda is equal to what? We have lambda is equal to what? 4L. Call this our equation star star. 
Recall that from general wave equation that our V is equal to what? F lambda. And we are always putting our fundamental frequency as F naught. So we are going to change this as V is equal to what? F naught lambda. You can call this equation star star star. So we are going to substitute equation star into equation star star star. And if you do that, what do you have? This implies that your V is equal to what? F naught times what? 4L. So make F naught the subject of the formula. So we we'll have your F naught is equal to what? V all over 4L. Therefore, F naught is V all over 4L. V all over 4L is simply the fundamental mode of vibration. The fundamental frequency in the fundamental mode of vibration in closed pipes. Do you understand? That is it. Now, let us generate the, the harmonics for a closed pipe. The harmonics and overtone for a closed pipe. So, in summary, this is what you have. And for this guy, this is what we have. We have our F naught. Our F naught is V over 4L. Sorry. This is what you have for this guy. So we want to generate the harmonics and overtone for plus pipes. We have harmonics overtone for close for close pipes. So first harmonic is given as what? V all over 4L. And this is the same thing as what? Zero what? Over two. Now for the close pipe, the song I was singing in the other videos is not the same. For close pipe, this is what you have. Your harmonics are in odd numbers. While your overtones are in natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But your harmonics are in odd numbers. So, the fundamental fre uh, frequency is also known as the first harmonic. So, first harmonic, zero overtone. Now, the next one is not two, but what? Three. So, we have third harmonic, meaning three times V all over what? 4L. Third harmonic is equal to what? First overtone. The, the next one is fifth harmonic. You have fifth harmonic, meaning 5 times V all over 4L. If you do that, this is set as what? Second overtone. So we have first harmonic, zero overtone. Third harmonic, first overtone. Fifth harmonic, second overtone. The next one is seventh harmonic. So we have seventh harmonic, meaning seven times V over four L, is setting as what? Third harmonic. So this is what we have. You can screenshot this quickly and uh, we'll be good. The next we are going to explain is uh, the physics behind the playing guitar, the guitar you play at home.